How is it going? I am Michael. What are you doing here? I am just here to tell you something. What I want to do when I am grown up? Hmm. I might show folks like you how to build virtual influencers for social media. And how such a video came about, I'll show you now in this screencast. This is a combination of many different tools that come into play here. First, a tool that can animate characters, then a custom GPT for creating consistent characters, and a very efficient workflow for mid-journey to reproduce it over and over. Then a synthetic voice is added, and in the end, a photo becomes an avatar. Instead of people, backgrounds can then also be animated, and then you can combine that with the character in the foreground. I started with ChatGPT with a custom GPT for consistent character. With it, you can create a character in a chat that then looks the same in all photos. And that's exactly what I need for the videos. First, I have to decide whether my character should be male or female. Then, I give my character a name. And then I have to reveal a bit about how I imagine my character later. I want, in my example, for this little 10-year-old boy to want to become a locomotive driver later and to carry this dream deep within him. For this, I first asked ChatGPT what a train driver is dressed like, what accessories they have, and what collectibles they would have in their room. And then I imagined what such a person would look like as a little boy. Next, I tell this custom GPT whether my character should be drawn or photographed. Is it an animation? Is it a photograph? Is it a very flat illustration? Or is it an anime character? And then I already get the first draft, in this case of my 10-year-old locomotive driver, Tim. However, I can also decide to design a young girl here as a character instead of my 10-year-old Tim. Then, I have to adjust the prompt accordingly. And the result looks like this. So that I can later build a consistent character as an avatar, I now have to make sure, for example, that I have different facial expressions, different bodies, poses, and different ways of expressing this character. And after a few such prompts, I then get these pictures that all depict the same character, however, in different expressions. And then I can train the AI from mid-journey with these images. To do this, I just upload all the images I just got directly to Discord to now be able to work with mid-journey. Next, I can define a preset from these images that I want to use over and over again with options. For this, I simply choose this command with the prefix options. And now I simply give my option a name and as a value. For these options, I simply define all the images that I just uploaded in a row. And to make sure Midjourney really understands what I mean, I just formulate the description of this character again as I used it at OpenAI. Now Midjourney thinks a bit and defines this new set. Of course, you can also do this with other inputs, whether it should be a sunset photo, whether I want this photo to be particularly warm or cold. And then I can define such an option again. I'll show this briefly using the example of a self-portrait of a woman in Paris, where I now call up this preset, which I simply called gold. And this gold preset ultimately only calls the functions that I wanted to photograph it with a Nikon camera, with a 58mm lens, with natural light, and with very warm tones. So that I don't always have to rewrite this, I can define it as a set. And the same thing I can now do with my Amelia. The same prompt, a self-portrait of a woman in Paris, but this time with the preset Emilia. Here we now see Emilia as a selfie in Paris. And with this recipe, I can now build many scenes that I want to use over and over again, showing a very consistent figure. I can also edit the photos further in another software to make another photo from it that I now want to animate again. And for this, I use a tool called Runway ML with which I can now make a video from a static image. There is a function called Motion Brush, and with it, I can now mask individual areas in this photo, mark them, and then define a movement, and can then bring these areas to life from this image or from this animation. It's very important that the brush strokes must be very, very thin. If I mark too large an area at once, it will look very unnatural. The smaller the brush strokes, the better you can do it. Such a thing works quite well with such characters. But I use it more for background images, like here this animation of a server room, also just a static image. I want to animate a bit. So I draw various brushes over these servers, and then I can animate these lights, for example, and get a much more realistic impression of this server room. 
and I can now use that as a background layer for a video. Another way to bring my character to life is the platform HeyGen. There I can now create a photo avatar for example. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work equally well currently. If I upload my Emilia right now, for example, the tool tells me upload failed. No face recognized. With other figures it has worked quite well for me. You always have to try a bit. I'll upload this figure as a photo avatar now. And now I can also say during the upload which voice this person should have in the future. And male children often have a woman's voice in cartoons. That's why I looked for a suitable woman's voice at Eleven Labs of a young American woman to give this young man. And now I can define a background image here. I could now take my animated server room or this background image and just define it here. And now I'll make the little boy a bit bigger because the less the legs move and the less the arms move, the more natural this movement will appear. Because he will now not dance around in this room. In the last step, I give him the text and listen to it over and over again. And it should be written phonetically so that it sounds like spoken language. And then a few seconds later, you have this result. Hey there! How is it going? I am Michael. What are you doing here? I am just here to tell you something. What I want to do when I am grown up? Hmm. I might show folks like you how to build virtual influencers for social media.